can I help you? You can help by not sweeping my son under the rug. The special class is not sweeping your son under Bullshit! the rug. Bullshit! You know just as well as I do that the special class is for retarded kids and my son is not retarded. He can't keep up with his class. Then why wasn't I notified of this problem years ago? And I cannot allow the teacher to give him special attention. Oh, look, look, passing, passing, passing. Not one of these report cards indicate that my son is struggling in any form. I don't know why this wasn't caught earlier. I would suggest that you get him a tutor. In fact, I have several excellent staff Your members to tutor on the side. You've done enough. Let's write some words down. It won't be bad, I promise. Can you write the word how? How about the word should? Okay. Well, you got all the right letters for the word how. You just put them in a different order and should sounds like it could be spelled that way, but the O-U letters together make the U sound. All right, that's enough for today. I'll try again tomorrow. John, can you come in here for a sec? Sit down. No, 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 come on. Can you read this word? Okay, I want to try something that I learned in the library last night. It's called decoding. Now, remember when the OU letters are together, they make the O sound? Can you draw a line over the O sound? Now, can you read the word? What? Shh. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! I'm sorry, sweetie. Yes, that. The word is should. Okay. Let's try one more. How about this one?
this. Oh, you are so going to get back tomorrow. <laughs> Children, this is a standardized test. You need your number two pencils out to mark the answers. Please be careful not to mark in more than one bubble to a question, otherwise the computer will automatically mark it wrong. Be very careful with this test. I'd like to see all of you pass on to the next grade. When you're done with your exam, please put it on the table at the rear of the room. Good luck, and you may begin. How'd you do? Hey, what are you doing? Reading. Hey, I just wanted to tell you that Whatever happens on that test tomorrow, whether you ace it or fail it, you should be very proud of yourself. Heck, six months ago you wouldn't even picked up a book, let alone read one. And Dad would be really proud too. Lights out. Okay, children, here are your tests back. Have a good summer. I sure need it. This one? Yes, John. Speak up. Can you let me retake the test? Why should I let you retake the test, John? Because I didn't put this line down the C column. Come on. I saw that line. I'm up to your tricks, John. It's not a trick. I can pass it. If you had only tried. If you tried, you just want to send me to the retarded class. I can do this. I am not passing you. Ask me a question, I'll answer it. Just quit, John. <sighs> his father had said this. His father had spoken flatly without an air of mm, mystery or threat. It was not a statement to be cha challenged, and it was not a statement to be explained. Miss Freeman, can I please retake the test?
guys ya I almost can't go around the mountain but then again I'm a genius So that makes it more difficult for them to access the language. I never really became really good friends with someone because they were always talking about book reports and how easy the homework was and how it felt like I didn't really like fit in with them. So teachers would say, oh, they're lazy, they're not working up to their potential. The actual structure of the brain is different and the wiring is different. I've, I've had family sit in my office and say that they were told you know, by the teacher that my child was retarded. A dyslexic person is a creative person, but also a person who struggles. I'd be doing work and I wouldn't understand something and everybody else understands it, but they pick on me because I didn't understand it. One time the teacher was like, he just like read the whole page for me and I was trying to read. That hurt my feelings a lot. Why do you not understand this? As a child, your social uh, well-being and sense of self is defined so much uh, by your school experience and your peers in school. I didn't really like it. I didn't like going to school. I faked being sick so I didn't have to go to school. Am I going to measure up? Am I going to be accepted? They made me read like these little books that a second grader could read. They made me feel super bad about myself. Many times dyslexia is a, a gift rather than a burden. Ordinary people would just go, you know, straight over a mountain, but, um, you know, someone with, with dyslexia might figure out a way to get around the mountain. They see things differently. They're more creative. They're better problem solvers in many ways. Many times it's a disadvantage until you get to film school or you go to art school or design school or you go to music school, and then it's truly a gift. Learning is a lot more fun and it's actually not just like a huge drag to go to school. They keep trying to get me into those classes that I'm really good at and I really like it because it makes me feel good. My confidence was so high, you know, I finished it early, I you know, did everything right and it's just, I was just really happy. I'm able to express things that other kids aren't really good at expressing. Never give up, um, there's always a way.